hey, 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 welcome back to another Prairie Sunset Ranch Farm Vlog. I'm Aaron, and thank you for tuning in today. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we had a good week at the ranch. I did find a couple issues though. When doing my calf yard check, I found a steer calf. Supposed to be a steer calf, but it was a bull calf jumping on the other guys. That's right, this is a 500 pound calf. This means Aaron missed his kahunas with the band in the spring. That's right. Even professionals mess up. <laughs> Damn Aaron, creating work for himself. So what we're gonna do is we talked about putting him into the handling system, put him into the squeeze chute. That's not gonna work because he's gonna be alone. It's gonna be a battle royale. He's gonna freak out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it without a handling system. We're gonna put two panels up. We're gonna V them. So they're in a V, fasten them together. We're gonna put two fence posts behind him, one behind his behind, one behind his legs. Um, we're gonna do that just so he doesn't kick my head off my body like a 40 yard field goal in the NFL. So we're gonna make sure safety first. Typically, I don't suggest anyone try it like this. Um, this is a last resort, but we're gonna do it this way because we have tried it the other way and it doesn't work out when there's one calf alone in an in a, in a area trying to get up in the handling system. So we're gonna go, we're gonna have to put the big, I got a big oversized bull ring for him. And uh, we're gonna get that done. We're gonna move the three cows that are with my calves in the, their calf lot. We're gonna haul those three, my three pets into the heifer side. And then we're gonna haul two cows from the heifers area back into the calf side. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. Let's pet her, pet her, get at her. Woo! What's wrong with this picture? One of these things don't belong together. <laughs> well, I, all I can say is I like repairs. I'm a Ford guy. <laughs> well, we got, if you haven't seen one of these, it's a bedizer. It cranks the uh, cord to the testicles. But this is what we're looking for. So we're gonna use, I like this better. Just a band, put in there. The calves, the bull calf, I thought it was bigger. Looks only to be about, I don't know, 450 pounds, maybe five. Hard to say, but at that, so we'll go around them and goes around the testicles. And uh, we've only used this one other time. I missed one, was it two years ago? We're just trying to find the little guy. I actually had an eye on him, but I had to go grab some, the, uh, the ringer. I think this might be him here. He's tagged red. I tagged him as a heifer. Grab that stem. Oh, here he is right there. Which one? I think this is him. Yeah, that's him. Right there. Okay, right. grab that fence. You get the post. <laughs> okay, wait, let me grab. Get the post, get the post, get the post. More weight. Yeah. Uh, oh. to go I highly suggest people don't do this at home. Use a handling system. This really isn't ideal. We don't like doing it like this, but to get him into the, where the squeeze is is a job on its own, and he'll probably freak out because he won't have any calves with him. far against the body uh, yeah that's a big, yeah that's a big uh, sore there after oh. 
Ой. You know what? I only feel one nut. Oh, really? Well, you gotta get both. Yeah. I know. There. Yeah, I feel them both. Okay. Yeah. Got them? No. Well, not, uh, you know, tighter against the nut than the, the body. Because uh, after, after that big, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of open uh, healing there to be done. Oh, I got them both. So I got both. Yeah, well, that's fine. Got both nuts. Yeah. yeah, it's not tight against the body. No, no, I gave him room. I think it's almost perfect. Yeah, I would say so. What his big is? It's big, barely fit in there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, there we go, Dad. Finished your good job. And untie. Booyah. Untie that because that panel can stay here. Yeah. Well, well let's leave these both here. Uh, well, it's one of those things my dad taught me. You know, he basically told me if. You have a calf on his own, you're best off not running him through a handling system and a squeeze, cause more trouble than good. So when we have two guys that we can safely do it, we try to do it like that, but we only had to do this the second time I had to do it. He, actually dad taught me how to do this. We've bedized before where we had to crack the cord and I hate doing that. So I bought the, uh, the band. So if we do have a bull calf that got missed, we can just put a ring on him. It's less, uh, I don't know, I just think it's less traumatic. You know, I don't like doing that because when you do it when they're a calf, a lot less stress, they don't even notice it. This guy, he doesn't seem too bothered by it. He wasn't kicking or anything. But I'll tell you, if we were to badize him, he'd be kicking like a bugger. Well, I opened the gate. Our three cows came in, so now it's just to get them away from the oats into the trailer. <laughs> Come on, goofballs. Let's go. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, ladies. Come on. Hey. Look at that, eh? Almost too tame. Lady. <laughs> Stop eating like a maniac. I know you're not hungry. Come on. Hey, don't make me get mad at you. Let's go. Hey. No. Jeez. Come on, girls. You're embarrassing me. I said you're tame. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Hey. 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 Okay. Stop it. Come on. Yeah. Hey, go. Let's go. Let's go. No. No. There. There. Let's go. Holy, come on. It's a problem with having almost too tame of animals. They don't, not afraid at all. Come on, come on big girl. Let's go, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, there we go. Come on, yep, yep, yep. Let's go, let's go, come on. Now they're protesting. Got the three cows loaded. We have the <coughs> bull calf rung. And now uh, we're gonna make our way to the heifers side on the other side of the road. 
and we're gonna give them some oats and we're going to get the two calves into the barn and loaded onto the trailer once we offload our three cows on here so everything's going off pretty good today well dropping the cows off in their new home I got the heifers eating oats and the two calves with them so we're gonna have to boot the cows or the heifers out I'm gonna back this trailer up to that side where we're gonna load the calves and uh, yeah, then it'll just be the matter of dropping the calves off in their new homes. Yeah, I'd be afraid of the sheep too, guys. <laughs> Look at that sheep got scared. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, relax. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. There you go. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Perfect. Yeah, no, these guys are quiet. I knew these guys wouldn't be a problem. It's funny, the sheep, they wouldn't run out of here. They'd be too darn scared. They're always scared of everything. It's crazy. If those two dogs aren't around, they're just petrified. It's absolutely unreal. But the dog would, that those two white guard dogs could lead them to war. I'm sure they would go. It's crazy. They really trust those dogs. Yeah. These guys are kind of all buddies usually. As you can tell, the tail's wagging, but I've seen them get in some mean fights, these three. And uh, the gold guy, Buzz, when he's in here. But, uh... They got it their own system. They got their own chain figured out. I think she's the boss, the big boss. Him. Then this guy, then the gold guy's kind of just the whatever, dude. The two guys we're dropping off are pretty, um... They're pretty big, so I'm not too worried. Pretty nice, though wind died down a little bit so <sighs> today there was like no big jobs to do just a bunch of little things my sled got to rebuild that shock and that shock both shocks need rebuilding I don't blame the machine I blame one too many cupcakes at dinner <laughs> what can a guy do it tastes so damn good <laughs> Well, thank you for joining me with this for this episode of Prairie Sunset Ranch. We will see you next weekend with an all-new farm video, so make sure to tune in. This is Aaron signing off from Mount Pooptacular. See you next weekend. Cheers until then. Bye for now.